Okay, Gitvach to all. We're in the fourth parak of Mesech and Nidorim. The Mishnah had told us that there are four Nidorim that uh, they don't require any um, any Hatara, any, any Afara. You don't have to take them off. No Shalaf, Tzachem. They were Nidre Zruzim, Nidre Havoy, Nidre Shkagais, and Nidre Einsen. So we went through Nidre Zruzim. We said, or it's Mecca Chumemkar, or some people extended beyond Mecca Chumemkar, even in situations in that, where it's possible that the, it's not a Guzma. And, and now with Nidre Havoy, which is a Guzma. There's a Guzma and there's an ally. Doesn't, so we said that just like Nidre Havoy is, is, is a Mutta, so to Nidre Shur Havoy with the Mutta. And Rabbi gave us the last case. El Omar Rabbi, four lines from the bottom. Boy, Mary, yes, through Paris, oil him alive. He's making a nether to ask through all the Paris in the world upon him. Bishvur, Lachar, it's not a shvur, if he's asking the Paris, right? If I don't see, in other words, he sees a lot of people. And he says, if there's not 600,000 people here, then what? Uh, then uh, then, then I'm, I'm, it's not us or upon me. That would be a Nidri Havoy, because there's no way in the world he saw 600,000 people at once on the derech. That's Rav's case. Omer Ravina Ravashi, one second. Maybe it really is a good nether. Maybe he saw a nest of, of Shumshani, that's our ants, a nest of ants. He gave them a name. He called the ant hill Oil Mitzrayim. So in other words, not necessarily is his nether one of Havoy, of Shus, of Guzma, Maybe really he's calling the ants oil and mitzrayim. The shop and mishnah and he's talking making good shvur. So the gemara is this is the what we need for the first part of the daf. Amalei ki bishtaba when a person makes a shvur a daita di don mishtaba he's making the shvur on our das not not on his das not on his das. In other words, you can people have strange words they use for different things. The people that yeah, they call certain. Whatever, families have different words for different things, different functions, bodily functions. You all know you each have different words for different things, right? So here's the question. Just because you have that word, is that what it means? Or by the Dharan, do we go over what, 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 what Besden means? The Shua, we go over what Besden means. What, you know, Besden, what Besden counts is what counts. That's what we should go after. So therefore, Vanon says the Gemara, Loi maskina nafshin ashimshani. Well, right? And we don't go ahead and call the ants, the Mitzrayim. Okay, so let's go over it for Penny. We said that well, a shur, a boy, a shur that is considered a guzma, a shur that's not reality, is a person says, all the Paris are awesome, alive. If I didn't see on this road the amount of people that were early in Mitzrayim, 600,000 people. And that Fred the Gemara, maybe he saw an anthill and he's calling the anthill early in Mitzrayim. And the Gemara is answering, no, when it comes to shurs and the Dharam, we go after what we Besden think, what normal people think, not what you uniquely call. So whatever, if you can call a, 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 an anthill oil and Mitzrayim, escape in the shun. I don't care. I don't care what Q is there. Fred the Gemara, about Daita the Nafshe of an Inshi Nimishtaba, you're telling me that on a person's own das, a person, we don't go after what he's thinking. We don't go after what's thinking, but Tanya, Kishahim Ashbin, I say, now there's three shuas that are midaraisa. Shuas chashaimim, shuas and maidu mixas, and shuas aedus. So <coughs> let's see, speak about maidu mixas. Guy claims a hundred dollars. He says I paid you fifty. So you have to swear on the other fifty. Then it's shuas deraisa. Shuas deraisa requires you to take a chayfet, chefta shal mitzvah, tefillin, a sefer Torah, chefta shal mitzvah. You have to hold on to it. B'shash you make the shua. Now what would we tell them when he's make the shua? Kishim ashbi, I say oimim loy. We would tell him. Be aware, we're not going ahead and making you swear on what you have in your heart. And let's change the gersa. That's why we changed the, changed the gersa, because it's redundant. It's best than making you swear. So it's daitenu, is us, then a makon, be a kodesh baruchu, or bezden shal maila, guys. In other words, so we're making you swear not on what you think. Right, but what I we think good now. Why would they? Why do they have to make him say that? La fuke ma my la la fuke the asik loy. For example, that he goes ahead and he gave the guy the malva is kaduri. He gave him wood chips. The asik lu shma zuze and he called him zuze. In other words, he gave him guy gave him wood chips and he called him zuze. So therefore, in his mind, what's he doing? He's going ahead and he is. And he is he's swearing on that fact. Might mix us to avoid that. Besn has to tell him 
you're swearing al datenu, the al dasamokan. In other words, <clears throat> we really do go after what a person thinks. And therefore, Bezdin had to go ahead and use a lotion to avoid that. He gives the guy wood chips. He calls the wood chips um, Zuzim. He calls the oil of Mitzrayim ants, oil of Mitzrayim. And now Bezdin, to avoid that shvua that he's making, that it shouldn't be a true shvua, I swear that I gave you Zuzim, right? My did he give him wood chips, but he called the wood chips uh, uh, Zuzim. Now, if we don't care what he says, so Bezdin wouldn't have to go ahead and make a shvua. Bezdin wouldn't have to, but uh, what's the text of Moedim and Mitzas? <laughs> the text would be, be aware you're swearing on Adas and not yours. Why would he have to say that if his Das doesn't count? Now, as a Raya, that you do go after his Das, that's the Nora's Kasha. Is it Lava Fuke the case the Osikloi is Kanduri, which is wood chips for Osiklu Shma Zuse, Umi the Kamaral Dateno Mechlal, the Ovid Inchid Mishtaba, Dante the Nafshe? A person swears we go after what he says. Or else, why would Bess have to go ahead and make a lot to avoid that? Says the Gemara, you're right. Says the Gemara, no, you're making a wrong mistake. You're making a wrong mistake. Like, La Afuke, why are we coming to exclude? We're coming to exclude Makna de Rava. We're coming to exclude, exclude the cane of Rava. And there, here's the case of the cane of Rava. Now, who gathered it was this individual? The Havi Mosik Bechavre Zuse. He lent his friend money. It's not, it's, the Ran says it's a case of what this makes us. So he lent his friend money. Asla Kameh de Rava. They came in front of Rava. Amalai Lezaiva. So Rava told the Leiva, Zil Parale, go, 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 go. Malva said, Leiva, Zil Parale, pay me. Amalai Pratich, I paid you. Amalai Rava and Cain, Zil Ishtabale, the Pratite. You swear, again, it's made of a mix, I swear part of it. Azul, he went. The I say, Kanya, he brought a cane. The Yav Zuze, the Gabba. And he went ahead and he hid inside the cane, kind of like a secret compartment. And he hid Zuzim in the cane. Bavi Mistamich, and he was walking along with a shtek and an old person. He shows up in Bezdin. And Amalei Lama, now, what does he have to do now? If he's, it's a Shua Moida mixes, guys. He has to take a Chayfetz. It's a Shua Deraisa. So he has to take a Chayfetz. So what did he do this, this character? He takes the stick and he says to the Malva, knock it high, Kanya, Biyatra. Here, take this stick and hold it. So this guy's holding the stick. And in the stick, of course, is money. Not so safe at Tyra. This character went ahead. He took a safe at Tyra. The Ishtaba and he swore the party they paid him up. Now Ahu Malva Rogas, he got angry. This guy's lying overtly. He got angry. The Tabra Lukan, you broke the stick. The Ishtaba Jesus Ilaara and all the money fell, fell out. The Ishtakik the Kush the Ishtaba. We found he was telling the truth, right? So therefore, that's what we, when we say that you're, 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 you're swearing on our das and, and the das of the Akadish Baruch, not your das, what we call, then you have no raya. So back to the original question. So therefore, you don't have a question. What was the question? You see that we go after what Bezdin says, al daitenu. It's to avoid why it must be that we, we trust the person. And for the Gemara, we don't trust the person. The reason we say al daitenu is simply what this course of, of the case of, 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 of Rava. That you swing on a das and not on this das of this, the money in the cane. It says, my berkati liyav mishtav adaiti nafshe betanya v'chei matzinu moish rabbeinu. Okay, this is interesting, guys. In Pashas Nitzavim, it says, the Pasuk says, And not only you are, are making a deal with, and a shvur that's the ones that are here today, and the ones that are not here. So we have a shvur for future generations. So the Pasuk says, the ones who are here today and who is here in the future. So why does it mean the Pasuk when it says, uh, when the Pasuk says, itchem levatchem, not you alone. So we're going to dash in that the following way. It says the following, itchem levatchem, um, when Moshe Rabbeinu made B'nai Yisrael swear of Avis Moab, right, before he, he went into Eretz Yisrael, Amalahem, have a yoidim you should know. This is what, this is what Moshe told them. Shaloy al daitchem, ani mashbiyas itchem, I'm, I'm not making you swear. I'm not making you swear on that my das, your das. El al daiti on my das, the das hamokin. But I consider what the mokin considers. Shnemar v'lo itchem levadchem. So now, obviously, it's the same kasha, guys. If Moshe had to go ahead and make a text to say when you swear, 
you're swearing on my das, it must be because if they swore on his, their das, it would work. So I had to avoid that. So that's the kasha. And those, whatever they would say on their das would be a good shvua. So to avoid that, Moshe has to say, no, you're swearing on my das. Now, what was the concern over here? That they said the word Eloha. Eloha can mean, of course, the Rabbani Shalayim, it also mean Avayi Zara. So they could say that we meant Avayi Zara. So to avoid that, we said, no, you're swearing on what I call Eloka. What I call Eloka. That's what you're swearing on, not what you call Eloka. The bottom line is, but you got a kasha. You see, you do go after what people say. You do go after what they think. It says, my Amalu Meshul Yisrael, Lav Hochi Kamalahu, Dilma Avidasman Mili, Bar Misan Al Daitenu, right? And meaning, you're going to go over and be over on what Amabi said. So, Mishum Hochi Amalahu, therefore he said, on what you thought. Therefore, Moshe said, "Al daiti lafuke mai lav lafuke dasiko shma lavaydes kachov melaka." You gave the name of avaydes zara melaka, so therefore you could say we only swore in the, in in, in elaka and avaydes zara. So lechayre it's fair. If you disregard totally, what was Moshe worried about? Elo and Moshe went ahead and instituted this lashin. It must be with the person his shvua is what they do think. That a person swears on his own das. Says Meloy, even if you're gonna, the eloka is the truth. It's a crazy thing, but in the Torah it says that we use the uh, the same name for Abay Dzar as the Rabbanu Shlom Kaviyachol. We say Layilcha Elohim Acherim Elohim. We call the right Elohim. We call Elohim. So therefore, they say eloka. That isn't, that's the truth. In other words, it's not your das, it's everyone's das. But, so therefore, Moshe had to say, therefore, oh, etaka means avoid the Zara, but no, you're swearing al daiti, what I teach of is eloka, not avoid the Zara. But in Achinami, we, we, in we don't go, we, we, you have no raya that you don't go after people's names. Okay, so now the chayra, so he's not believed. In other words, Bemis, what's, guys, nachamo. Why would you think that we go after what people say? Because Moshe had to go ahead and touch it this way. And the answer is, because in this case, what people say is true. In other words, it's not calling an ant pill oil of Israel. It's not calling wood chip zuzin. It's calling, it's, it's calling yellow car avoid the Zara, which is true, which is true. So therefore, you have no right, you don't go after people. Good? Because so you had to go, I'll die to you, I'll Moshe. Fred the Gemara, now. So the rest of the sugi is the following. If really we don't go after what a person thinks, and Hashem said, right, elokat, to avoid avoid the zara, he could have used other lashonis. Let, guys, let's fear rights. One more time. Look at me. Look at me. Let, get this straight. It's, the Gemara is, is, is a funny, funny flow to it. We're saying the following now, that re really the word eloka could be what? Could be avoid the zara. And therefore, Really, we don't go after what people think, but here what they think might be true. The rest of the Gemara is going to say the following. If that's the Svara, Moshe could have used other words. In other words, he didn't say Eloka. In order to go ahead and make sure they accepted the Torah, he could have used substitute words. Ella, he didn't use substitute words because he had to avoid what? He had to avoid them thinking what they're thinking because what they're thinking is true. So in other words, we're going to say now, since Moshe did not use any other word besides the al daiti, in other words, he could have used something else to avoid the problem, and he didn't. It must be that what what people think really is something. That's the flow of the Gemara. Let's see it inside. Let him Moshe swear that they should make the mitzvahs. It says the Gemara, mitzvahs is Masha mitzvahs hamelech. That would not be true because mitzvahs can be the king's command and not Hashem's command. Instead of using the word eloka, yasun the kamaisa call mitz call mitzvahs or mitzvahs using the word kol. Says Gemara, that's mashma mitzvahs tzitzis. That's that's mashma mitzvahs tzitzis because tzitzis is equal to damamar shakula mitzvahs tzitzis connected call mitzvah shemitayra. Very famous taryag six six right six or five and and the strings the 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 the, the rush brings it over here Bring, brings the limit over here. If you look at the rush for a second, he says. Where did I see it? I saw it somewhere. Maybe I saw it in, I don't know. I saw it somewhere. Anyway, Bechala Pachas. Um, Viter. Oh, it's, it's, it's there. 
I don't, I don't, I don't have, uh, yeah, maybe it's on the other page. It's on the other page. It's on the other page, it's on the other page. right. Kidexim, Riesem I saw you, Zakartem, it's called Mrs. Hashem, it sits as Shmaina Chutim, Kamisha Ksharim, you have eight strings and five. So, in other words, you have 613. Okay, very good. Anyway, Ulashobi is trying to come, I said, Torah. Want to use the word, use the word Elkai, use the word Torah. So, why do you use the word Torah? So, Torah Achas, because it's Mashma, only one Torah. We know there's two Torahs. There's Torah Shabbat Sab and Torah Shabbat Pet. Go ahead and swear. Go ahead and swear, right? The Mikamai Soin, Toy Royce. So, use the word Toy Royce would be Mashma, both Torah Shabbat Sab and Torah Shabbat Pet. Why use the word Elaka? Must be, of course, a person is Taka believed to go ahead and say what he wants. Says Gemara, no, Taira, if you were to read Taira, it's Mashma, Taira's Mincha, and Taira's Katas, Taira's Asham. Well, it should be, you know, it can mean other things besides Taira, it can mean Mat, and the Taira says the Taira of these Kabbanis. Okay, Gemara, the Shobi is trying to become my son, Taira's U Mitzvah. So the Taira's Mashma, Taira's Mincha, and this is Mashma, Mrs. Amelach. Well, the Shobi is trying to become my son, Taira Kula, Taira Kula, Mashma, by this Kachav, Netanya, Hamura, by this Kachav, and Shikola Kaibaba, Kilo Moida, but Taira Kula. In other words, make them swear 613 mitzvahs. If you just want to avoid, if you really go after what they, you don't care what they think, go after 613. Why do you say, it must be, you do care what they think. Maisha went easy route. Maisha did the easiest thing. But in Achinami, don't make it. You come over here. We don't go after what a person says. We go after what doesn't say. Now, regarding this thing about the, the shvuas by, by uh, 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 the plains of Moab, I, I, I'm not sure he means this, guys, but it's a chiddush nifla. And I wanted to share with you. I'm giving you a hakdama. I'm telling you what I think. I'm not sure it's what it means. I'm telling you what I, I think. I'm not sure what it means. This is from a sefer called Teres Chaim. He was an early achron. I use him all the time. It's a wonderful sefer. It's a mesech the shvuas daf lametes, and look, look what he says. Ainly yella oisa na oim de malar sinai. The slave shlishi perish the kavmona sa shvua oisa. The kavmona of the shvua that they made an arbas moav oisa lechazek maimin has sinai. It was the purpose of strengthening the the giving of the Torah. Mishum da afa gab the Israel kiblu at Torah be sinai even though bnei Israel will makabel Torah at sinai. Be Amru Naasev and Ishma, and they said Naasev and Ishma. So they makabel Taira, and they said Naasev and Ishma. Even Dlei Havi Ella Dibor Baalma, since saying Naasev and Ishma was only a Dibor. It's not as like a Kati having Matzi Lo Hoder Vuhu. They could have gone back on their words. But Loi Hoyu Roi and Loinish, and they went in Roi to be punished because there was no Shvua. Naasev and Ishma is a Dibor. We will accept. And we will do, but it's not a shua. Ula kachish bion. Therefore, in Arbis Moab, Moshe made a bris. But all hazois, he made a bris on a shua. He hechid leimotzi sulem ahadavu. In order that they shouldn't go back on their word. Then lo yekaimu a Torah yanshu, and they don't keep the Torah, they'll be punished. Well, if he said nicha hadin nakat enli elo oisin ha'oimdim al har Sinai, lo yekamar enli elo oisin ha'oimdim shom. Shari lav har Sinai ha you on them by seisha. El of Arbus Moyav. They were standing by Arbus Moyav. El of Fisha Shua Hoysel Chazek Dibor Nasev and Nishma Nishma Shalom Be Sinai Shleyachsu Bahu the Kachnachet Einli Elo Oisin Oim Har Sinai says the Peladik. He seems to be saying the following guys. He seems to be saying that when we say Mushba Oimim Me Har Sinai, that's not what he means. It means that the the by a Sinai, the Nasev and Ishma was mechazek. It was strengthened by the, 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 the Shvua of Arvis Moab. Because if they swore at Sinai, why would it be necessary to make another Shvua? Why would it be necessary to say, you're making the same Shvua again a second time? So we say, when we say, Ein Shvua Chala Shvua, because the Mushba V'Oymi Me'er Sinai, like the Teres Chaim, what it means is the Chizuk of Har Sinai that was given by Arvis Moab. It's a Chiddush Nifla. I, 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 again, I think, I, I hope I'm learning the right shot. If I'm not, please, please forgive me. But I read it with you. I read it with you. And that's what it seems what he's saying. So this passage that we brought in, just as a question, the question, Moshe's 
Lushen, just to take it out of context and look at it in, in a global way, this is not just today. Why are we doing it at all? Why are we doing it at all? Because at, at Sinai, we just said Nasa Benishma. Nasa Benishma is Diba Ma'alma. Honey, I'll go to the store to get groceries. Honey, I'll take care of it. It's a Diba Ma'alma. I make a Shvu, I'm going to take care of it. That's a different thing. Right? That's a different thing. That's, I think that's, that's what he's saying. To me, it's a, it's a huge Kiddush. Okay, bye then. And he said, what's another example of a shvua savai? If he makes a shvua that, that he won't eat something or do something, he didn't see a nachash the size of a beam of a, a beam of a olive press. Now that seems to be a shvua savai, that it's not possible to have a nachash the size of a, an olive press. It says the Gemara of Eloi, there was the snake, the Havi Shani Shramalka, that was in the years of Shramalka, Romulate Tilsa. Arvasa to Tivna, they put 13 stablefuls of hay, Uboli Yasfain, and he swallowed them. And he swallowed them. It's a bit of mudna, mudna creature, what happened over here, that this seemed to go ahead and it would eat people. It was a snake that ate people. And let me tell you, it's not so strange. They just found a woman in Indonesia inside a, a reticulated python. And then they found in Indonesia, it was, it was all over the news, a woman, Leilenu, terrible way to die. She was she was found inside a python. So it seems that this, this snake would go ahead and, and it would eat people. So what did they want to do? They wanted to kill the snake. So I think it's a... They, what they did was they took, an, they took a, an animal and they, I, like, and they put inside the animal, they, they wrapped it in something and they put embers of fire in there. And what happens is the snake would follow it and it would get, it would die. That's what I think the Gemara in that's what it says in 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 Shuas. So Ubolia son. So, so you see the bottom line is you see a snake that is so large. So what? It's certainly the size of an olive uh, olive beam. Amashmul bitaref. It has it's talking about ridges. So in other words, you saw that they had ridges. It's not a snake the size, but a snake with ridges the size. So Fred Gemara kuli nachshay mitshuf tarfei, right? So every snake has ridges on certain parts of its body. It says the Gemara, I've got by Torah. On its back, it has ridges and it doesn't come in on. Okay, but listen to Torah. So why don't you learn Torah? Oh, why do you say Nachash? It's really not a Nachash. It's, it's the ridges of the Nachash. Why doesn't it say ridges? The Milsal Agavurcha Kamashalon. The Kurdish base of Abad, a Gavay Torah. A Gavay Torah. On the top of the beams of an olive pet, there are ridges. The Mainaf Kimina, the Mecca Kumemka, Lemilcha. If someone tells you, I'm selling you a beam for an olive press, the he got by in. If it has ridges, yes, if not, not. So that's the comparison to an olive press about the ridges. But in Achinami, he didn't mean the size of a snake, he meant the snake with ridges. Amid base. Okay, so we did two of the four, two of the four Dorim. We did Nidre Zuzin. We did Nidre Havoy, of, of foolishness or, or exaggeration. And now we're going to Nidre Shkagas. Now we'll see Nidre Shkagas. Says the Mishnah. Nidre Shkagas. What are Nidre Shkagas? Imachalti v'imsha sisi. He makes a nether that this thing is usher upon him if he ate or drank. Viniska. And then he remembers shacha v'shasa. Then he makes a nether that what? That he, he went ahead that he, he remembers that he did. Now this is a shaygay because he did it already. What about a future? Shani oichel or she'eni oichel or she'eni shaysa. The shakach, he says, I won't eat, I won't drink. But Achel Bashas, and he does. That also is considered what? A Nidre Shaigeg. Now, why is that a Nidre Shaigeg? We'll see Rashi in a second. We'll see the Rah ra in a second. Oma Koinim Ishti Nanisli, he makes a Koinim, his wife can't have enough from him. Shengonbez Kisi, because she stole his, ki, uh, his wallet, or she cost us, Benio hit his son, and it comes known, Shloyiko, Benoida, Shloy Gomba, never happened. Then that would be Nidre Shagagas. This would be considered Nidresh Gagas. Okay, let's see, let's see the man here. Nidresh Gagas, Tre Gavni Katani. We're learning two types. Chada, Tibashas Nidroi, Hayy Shaigeg. Mamash at the time of the Nedi was a Shaigeg. This is when it was in the past. Gagoin, Koinim Imachalti, Imshasisi. This is Koinim if I did eat, if I did drink. That's past tense. So, in other words, right then, at that point in time, it's Nedim Shaigeg. Why? 
because you know it's not a good nether. Right at that time, he, he had eaten already, he had drank already. So it's, it's a net, it's a the Katani Nami, Shoye Shoye Bishasha Nether. And the second case, there was net, is a Noidik, is a Shoye at the time of the Nether. Roy Lacho is a Shoye in the time of the Nether is right to be Chal. When, when is that future? The Alpha Bishop Shoshi Yotz and the Pivli Hoya Shoye. When he made the Nether, well, he eat the drink, it's not a Shoye yet. Because why? Because it didn't happen yet. It only happens later on. Ukatani Shani Oichel Shani Shoye is a climber. The Omar, Koinim Kika Zalai. This kikar is, is this loaf of bread. This kikar is, is also to me if I eat or I drink. Hayoyim today, the shakach. He had the keyword hayoyim because if it's not any time, it's 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 uh, not possible. The shakach for achav v'shasa. Now why is this a net a net of shayge? The key with the nidra ba'chilo kamai nidra ba'chilo kamai saw chayal. As soon as he made made it is chal. But he shaita havile shayge claim arshle niska. At the time he ate, he forgot totally. In other words, if you forget at the time when you're doing it, right, that about the original nether, that's a nether b'shoi If you forgot at the original time, the nether seems to be a nether b'shoi So there's two types of cases. One where you ate already, where the nether's right away out of the ballpark. A second one where the nether's in the ballpark until the action, which takes it out of the ballpark because you forgot totally about the nether. Last case in the Mishnah. Guy standing and he sees people eating from his field. Roy son Oichlem to Ainim. He sees people eating to Ainim. But Omri says, and he says, Hare, Hare Hain Alechem, the Tainim are on you, carbon. He's saying a person is able to ask his stuff. He's saying these should be on you a carbon. Now he has a bunch of people there. The Nimsu Aviv Achiv, among those people were his brother and his father. So obviously he thought they were strangers. He meant the, the, that it was on strangers, and it turned out to be on his parent, on his father and his brother. Well, you know, there are other, others as well. The father and the and the brother are muta, and the and the other people are rasa. They're both muta because since the neder wasn't chal on the father and the brother, it wasn't chal on the other ones. We're going to see this more in tomorrow's share. I'm going to, but there's Hashem. So that, we'll go back to this tomorrow. Well, let's finish up. The same as last Mishnah, just like it's Shaykh. We said in the past Mishnah was Shaykh, a Nidre Havoy and Shvuas Havoy. Just like it's Shaykh, Nidre Shagagas, Kach Shvuas Shagagas Mutaris. Hechi Dami Shvuas Shagagas. Well, I'll be a case of Shvuas Shagagas. Kigoin, Rav Khan and Ravasi, they were having a discussion of what Rav said. How they know my Shvuas, I make the Shvuas, the Hachiyam Rav. How they know my Shvuas, the Hachiyam Rav. Each one said that. This is what Rav said. This is what Rav said. Uh, and the Chol Chav V'chad, I died to the Nafshei, Shav V'chad V'chad. Each person, according to the Das, they were saying the right thing. But it's, it's, it seems to be a B'shoi Geg, and, and therefore it's a Shur B'shoi Geg, and it's not a good Shur. Okay. Good to all.